Hey everybody, this is Dan from Mechanical Malarkey. Today I'm going to give you a basic overview of how to change a battery in a Honda. There are a few things you need to remember when you're going to replace your battery. One is that when you disconnect the battery, the car's computer will lose power and then it will lose its memory. That means any diagnostic codes will be lost and the check engine light will be cleared. It will also forget the emissions monitors and if you live in a state like New York that has an annual emissions inspection that you plug into the car and see if those monitors have been run, you can't replace the battery right before you do that without driving it off to set those monitors. Another thing on Hondas is that disconnecting the battery will send the radio into anti-theft mode. On newer models from around 2012 and up, all you have to do to exit anti-theft mode is to press and hold the radio power button. However, on older cars, you will have to get the radio code and input that manually. If you don't have that, you'll have to talk to a dealership. Besides going into anti-theft mode, you may also lose all of your radio presets. To prevent that, some mechanics use something like this, which is a memory saver. It basically is an alternate power supply for the car's computers while you're changing the battery. This one plugs into the diagnostic port. I don't expect most people to have these if they aren't mechanics. I only have this because I do a lot of battery replacements as a mechanic. So just something to keep in mind when you disconnect your battery, you'll probably lose some settings. But chances are, if you're replacing your battery yourself, it might have already gone dead, and so you've already lost everything anyway. The batteries in almost all Hondas are under the hood. Most of them are out in the open like this. A few have a little bit of the air intake over them, but they usually just have a couple trim clips and then they come right out. First, loosen the nuts on the two J-bolts on the hold down. You usually don't have to remove them all the way, just enough to get the bolts out of the holes that they're hooked into. This is why they're called J-bolts, because they have a hook at the end that hooks into holes in the battery tray. Then disconnect the ground side. Take it off and move it out of the way. Then lift up the positive cover and remove the positive terminal. A lot of Hondas have a plastic cover around the outside of the battery. Take that off and you'll put it on the new battery. Now you can take the battery out. You can either just pull it out by hand, or I have this tool that I found. I'll put a link in the description. It just slips over the battery posts like this, and you can easily lift the battery right out. While the battery's out, this is a good time to check the terminals for any corrosion. If there is any, you can clean it off with a wire brush. If it's heavier, stubborn corrosion, you can use some baking soda or a commercially available battery terminal cleaner. Then take your new battery, put it in. Don't forget to put the plastic shield around the outside. And then don't forget to take these covers off the posts. I've seen pictures of people who had to have their car towed in to a shop because they changed their battery and didn't take these off before they put the terminals on and couldn't figure out why their car wouldn't start. So I'll take off the positive. Put the positive cable on. Then we'll do the negative. Then we'll put the hold down back on. Take note of the direction because some are not symmetrical. And this one has an arrow that's pointing to the front of the car. So put that down. Get the hooks into the holes. And then tighten them down. You only want to go down until it's snug. If you go too far, it's possible you could crack the case of the battery and leak battery acid, which would not be a good thing. And there you go, new batteries installed. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And read the blog at mechanicalmalarkey.com. Thanks for watching.